it's Morgan Lee here and it's that time of the month. Ipsy time, silly. <laughs> What'd you think I meant? So today I'm going to be opening and reviewing my Ipsy February bag and I have no idea what's inside. Um, so yeah, let's just see what the surprises are here. <gasps> oh, it's already opened. It's like it was, ugh, okay. That was kind of scary, it just saved my products. They almost fell out. Oh, sealed with a kiss. This makeup bag is so cute. Um, and it actually has like little kiss lips on it. It more looks like a clutch, but I kind of think that's like an elegant like looking makeup bag. Okay, um, as you can tell, I kind of did like my makeup February inspired because I figured I'd be getting a pink or red bag. Um, but this is super cute. I like how it looks like an actual like postage stamp envelope. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and do this bubble wrapped one because it looks pretty fancy. Ooh, light beam. The color is in light beam, so I'm assuming it's like a highlight. Um, I'm not even gonna try to say brand name. However, it's like a really pink, pr uh, pretty color, but it kind of looks more like a um, eyeshadow. I'm just gonna go ahead and read what it says it is. Sun-kissed highlighter, single and light beam. Okay, so it's actually, it actually is a highlighter. It, I've never had such a pink highlighter. I'm not even sure how it would look on my skin tone, but I'm definitely looking forward to trying it out because I love experimenting with highlighters. I'm not bad about it. Um, I put that I wanna receive more highlighters, so this is great. Next up, we have a lipstick, hydrating lip oil. Let's see what it is. Oh, this is so adorable. That is so cute. I'm thinking this is more of like a plumping lip oil type of thing. Um, let's see. It's a lipstick hydration lip oil and juice bar. This hydrating oil leaves your lips feeling kissable all day long. The conditioning formula stops dryness and chapping and coats your lips in juicy sheer pink tint. Wear it alone or layer it on your favorite lipstick or overnight as a nourishing treatment. So, um, Okay, there we go, there we have it. It's super cute. Um, I guess it's supposed to be just a really oily, like chapstick lip gloss. Um, but yeah, I think this is so cute. I'm not quite sure how often I'll use it because I don't really use lip glosses all that much because the, the issue for me is when I step outside, my hair is suddenly like all stuck to my lips. I don't know if I'm the only one, so if I'm not, comment down below. But um, I just love how they look. So, you know, at least I can get like some cute like pictures inside and like look pretty inside. Um, yeah, but I'm not sure how much I'll wear this out. Alrighty, next up we have the YC Collection Loose Setting Powder. Um, so I'm just gonna say right here, I'm not too excited for this um, because I actually specified that I don't want to receive loose powders at all because um, I haven't had really good experiences with them and I haven't really used loose powder that much in my life but um, I noticed that it tends to like really like anytime I like like wrinkle up my face like make any type of facial expression the powder tends to just like stick in those places and make it look like almost like wrinkles. So I've always stayed away from loose powders. However, I'm willing to give this one a try, but I am a little disappointed with Ipsy for sending me this because I specified that I didn't want any loose powder. And I mean, there's a lot of makeup out there. Um, really would have been happy pretty much with anything else, but it is what it is. Next, we have the cleansing gel. The packaging is very like, aesthetic looking, but um, this is also another product that I specify that I don't want to receive much of. Um, I don't really mind receiving like face masks and stuff, but a cleansing gel, mm, I don't know. I don't really, I'm not like, I don't really wash my face in the sense of using a cleansing gel. I'm more of like um, a wipe kind of person, but yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in you, Ipsy. You didn't listen to me two times. Not sure how customized this bag is this month, but it's okay. Um, last off, we have a liquid eyeliner. So at least we're finishing this off with a good product. Um, you can never get enough liquid eyeliners in my opinion. I have some on right now. I use it on the daily. So I am definitely looking forward to trying this brand out. Um, and that's waterproof, even better. So yeah, um, oh, oh, that's kind of odd. Wait, how do I do this? 
pull to open. Oh my gosh. So it like expands and it's super, super fine pointed, which is amazing because I've actually been looking to try a new um, eyeliner and I just, okay, this is great. I'm happy with this. I'm glad we're ending the video off on this product. So for the final question, is Ipsy really worth it? I first feel like you gotta ask yourself the question, why are you considering Ipsy? And for me, I just love receiving unexpected products and experimenting with them. It kind of feels like Christmas to me. You don't know what you're gonna get. And I like the challenge and the experiment of trying out the new products. Now, if you're wanting a custom bag that is just totally catered to your needs and it's just perfect and made for you, I'm not going to 100% back that statement up because in this month, I've received two products that I actually specified that I didn't really ever want to receive. I first received the YC Collection Loose Fitting Powder with a retail value of $12.99. I also received the Sunkissed Highlighter Single with a full-size retail value of $29. I received the Even Prime Cleansing Gel with a retail value of $16, the Sophia and Maybell Lipstick Hydration Lip Oil in Juice Bar with a retail value of $19, and the Koki Cosmetics Retractable Liquid Liner with a retail value of $6, and this was a full-size product. This leaves me with a bag at the value of $83. And as I said earlier, there was two products that I didn't necessarily want, but I also said that I tried Ipsy because I love experimenting with new products. So to me, this bag is worth the $12 that I paid. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Hit the little, Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I will be opening my Ipsy bag every month. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. <laughs> Leave a comment down below letting me know what you got in your Ipsy subscription if you received one this year. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!